Ready? Three, two, one. Smile. Here you go. It all began here in February 2008, when Polaroid announced they would cease production of instant film. It was the end of the world. <gasps> it was the end of birds, and it was the end of rainbows. Pop and art, and pop art, leaps of faith, and good vibes, and eyes. Patterns, light, dark and shade, and almost the end of Betsy. And the little things. It was the end of images that were real, instant, and that you can hold in the palm of your hand. An art form set to expire. But some of us couldn't let that happen. So armed with the love of instant photography, we started the impossible project. Hell bent on resurrecting the film. But that was easier said than done. The machines were in parts, the formulas lost, supplies out of business. Jan had lost his keys. There was no clear path to follow and many obstacles to overcome. Boys became men and men grew beards. And then we cracked it. The first impossible photograph. Then came color film. But how is the impossible possible? Here's Edwin. He knows how it works. We can't hear you, Edwin. We'll come back to him. The process begins in the lab where we formulate the chemicals. These are then mixed into a paste in the reactor room. When a picture is taken, the paste spreads like a wave over the negative. Jimmy has been searching for the perfect wave since 1978. Light ruins the film. So these guys have to cut the negative using night vision. Back to Edwin. He needs to work in the dark too. All that to make one of these. But there's nothing without a camera. That's why Jos is here. He refurbishes them. That is a lot of cameras. So thanks to Jos, Henny, Andy, Anton and all of us at the Impossible Project, we still have instant film. Which means that Andrew here can make his art with it. Mark has them on his mantelpiece and his fridge. And Mary stores her memories under her bed. And then there's Hank. He has a big camera that takes big photos. You can hold them, doodle on them, stick them in the microwave, do whatever you want with them. 